guys, it's Wednesday, so that means Wheelchair Wednesday. Today I wanted to show you how I put my saddle together, but before I wanted to tell you the little bit of why I have this set up. And uh, the reason is, so, well, I started riding when I was three years old and started rodeo when I was seven. And uh, when I was 18 years old, I got in a car accident and rolled my truck and was ejected, which broke my back and injured my spinal cord. So after all that happened, doctors told me that I wouldn't ride again, but I had to figure out how I was going to be able to do that. And uh, so this is my saddle setup that I have that's made it possible. So the first thing I want to show you is my seat. So my seat is a bunch of air cells. Um, being in a wheelchair, I have to worry about getting saddle sores, and that was an issue in the beginning. So Rojo made me this seat for my saddle and has made it possible for me to not get sores. So all of these are little air cells and uh, helps me out. So now I'm gonna show you how I get hooked up into my saddle. And I have my little sister right here. This is Autumn and she's going to show us how it all hooks up. All right, Autumn, jump on this. So the first thing that I have is this strap that goes across my hip. This is a new piece that I have that just gives me a little more security on this hip. So the way it does, it runs across my hip, buckles into the front of my saddle, and it holds me there. I did this strap. This was actually the last piece that went into my saddle. And uh, the reason I put it on is, is I was coming out of my second barrel. I was moving just a little bit. I run to the left first, so it was on my right-hand turns. And uh, it was making it so that I couldn't get up and ride my horse to my third barrel. So this was the last strap that, it, strap that I had put on. So the main part of my whole saddle is the seatbelt. So this comes across right here and buckles onto the other side. So this seatbelt, Autumn, and then you can tighten it. So this was the first piece that we got put on. Um, got an idea from a team roper in Arizona that he wasn't paralyzed, but he had weakened legs, and so he needed help to stay in the saddle. The way that it's hooked on, bring it up here so they can see, is there's pieces right here behind my cannel on both sides, and it's bolted so that this seat belt is held on. So the, another piece that I had to have was my legs were moving too much, and my horses couldn't figure out what I was doing, if I was kicking, if I was asking them to move. So I got these Velcro straps and they run under my stirrups. And around my legs. And I just Velcro them down. So this just holds my legs steady enough that my horses aren't distracted by them. Um, sometimes, well, every horse I've ever gotten on is a little funny about it at first, but every single horse I've gotten on has gotten used to it and figured out how to listen to my voice and my hands and completely ignore my legs. So then the last part that I do when I run is I have rubber bands on my feet. And uh, once those are rubber banded in, then I'm ready to go. So those are all the pieces that go together for making it possible for me to still compete, both in the barrel racing and the breakaway roping. So this is Amberly with Wheelchair Wednesday.